I'm Goose. I am Logan. And we're at Pork Chop and Bubba's Barbecue. So we are at Pork Chops and Bubba's Barbecue place here in Bakersfield, right across the street from uh, Bakersfield, Bakersfield High School. <laughs> and so uh, we're, we've, I've been driving by this place for a while and I've uh, been wanting to stop here and get something to eat. It's been a while since we've had barbecue. So we each got something a little different and we're looking forward to, to seeing what, uh, what Pork Chop and Bubba's Barbecue offers us. We, we got our food. This is, I got a half a chicken plate with chili cheese tots and some baked beans over here. This looks, I mean, honestly, this, this looks fabulous. I'm gonna go over to Logan over here. What did Logan get? I got the brisket. You can see here it is under the bread. Right there. Oh, that looks delicious. Mm -hmm. And you the, opted for onion baked rings. Baked beans and onion rings. Onion rings. We brought Tyler over here. Say hi, Tyler. Hello. Ribs, onion rings, mac and cheese. Now you got a half a rack of ribs because you I, I, I wouldn't be able to finish it. I, yeah. I know. I mean. <laughs> you initially wanted a full rack, but once I realized how big it was going to be, I'm like, you know, I'm just going to get this instead. That looks great. <laughs> one of the one of the things we realized is that they got bottles of of the barbecue sauce over here. So let me turn this one around here. This is the mustard sauce. We got just barbecue sauce here. What you got over there, Logan? Spicy barbecue. Spicy barbecue. And raspberry chipotle. Oh, that stuff. Oh, that stuff. Raspberry chipotle. That ought to be interesting to eat. Mm -hmm. Of course, we got a bottle of ketchup and our and our roll of paper towels because we're going to need these. Mm -hmm. Ready to dig in? Mm. Yeah. Food coma time. Yes. I'm going gonna, gonna to go around the table. You got your brisket. You put a little bit of that uh, raspberry chipotle sauce on mm -hmm. it. How do you think? Because I put some on my chicken. It's got a little bit of a bite to mm -hmm. it. I like it. It's really good. Mm -hmm. And baked beans are really good. Yeah, the beans have got a nice little the tang, tang to them. And all that. It's really good. And onion rings are they're awesome. They're onion rings. Oh. So, <laughs> so it looks like your brisket's pretty good? Oh, yeah. Oh, as always? Yep. I've them. never seen a kind of onion like this before. Well, except where it's like flat. Yep. What? Well, it's a little. Um, <laughs> it isn't flat, but it but it's like a little like the like, little like elbow yeah. thingy. But it, but it's in a twisty pattern. It looks pretty good. Yeah. How's it taste? A little like mac and cheese. Okay. <laughs> and the, the, so how are your ribs? Amazing. <laughs> amazing. They yeah. look delicious. I've got my chicken right here. I've had. Well, I've had some a bit of it. I got, I got my chili cheese tots. These are really good. I never would have thought putting ch chili and cheese on top of tater tots. And you even got a little bit of meat in there, a little bit of brisket in there. It's pretty good. <laughs> but the chicken's really nice, really tender, juicy. Uh, that again, that raspberry chipotle sauce has got a kick to it. We gotta try the spicy barbecue sauce. That's oh. awesome. You can see that I'm getting pretty, getting through my. Uh, my chicken plate pretty good. I just put some of that mustard so, uh, sauce on it. Tried it, it's actually pretty good. What did you think, Logan? You had some on your brisket. That's good. That's good, some That's good right. stuff. Mm -hmm. So far, I'd say my favorite sauce is probably the, uh, the spicy barbecue and the raspberry chipotle. Yeah, the raspberry chipotle is really good. Mm -hmm. I was gonna talk about these uh, chili cheese tots. They're actually pretty good. They're amazing. They're amazing. The, the Tyler had some of it. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. The only thing about it is that um, you find some that are a little crunchy, some that are a little soggy, but loaded tots are really good. These are really, really good. Like I said, the beans are nice and tangy. They're very tasty. Um, this is just really good food. You're almost done with your ribs over there. How are they? Again. Great. Great. You, now you didn't put any sauce in your ribs. Well, yeah, even though we have the mustard, the spicy barbecue, the chipotle, the I, I, I think it tastes great with I think just, it's just great anyway. You know? Just the rub, huh? Yeah. Just the rub. It looks it's, delicious. It's, it's great. Like, it's I, great. I, I give you both some. What did you guys think? Oh, they were good. It was, the meat was nice and tender. It was really mm -hmm. good. It, it's nice and soft. And it, and it doesn't get stuck in your teeth. 
Yeah, that's, that's, that's important. So we're gonna finish up. Like I said, I'm gonna try some of this uh, mustard sauce on my on my chicken leg, and uh, we're gonna get right back to you. Guys. We're getting where our food. You see, look over here. His food coming. We're start, already starting to come in. Yep. Yep. So if you have a guest, we're done eating. I'm in full food coma mode. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that was good. That was good. The brisket, the baked beans. That was good. Tyler. That was awesome. That was awesome. Tyler's shirt sure kind of like was a casualty of the barbecue. That's what happens when you wear white right shirts to barbecue. Like. <laughs> well, we're just going to chill here for a couple of minutes, let the comas kind of sink in for a minute, and then uh, well, we'll be right back with you. I'm full. Oh, yeah. And I, I, all that food. The beans and the onion rings yeah, and the uh, brisket. The tots, the loaded tots, the chicken, the sauces. All those you know all those sauces are homemade sauces, they make those here. Really? Yeah, all those sauces are homemade. They're all they, good. And they're all good. And then I was talking with a gal and she's like I was like, they got a little kick to them. She goes, Oh yeah, they're all pretty spicy. They, they kinda get you kinda get you when you're not at least expecting, but oh my gosh, this is delicious. This is on the this is on the corner of, if I see this correctly, H and 13th. Yep. Here uh, in Bakersfield, uh, right here where, where we, we stay and make ourselves home. And, and apparently we just saw on the wall that yeah, it pork was chops. Ranked, uh, pork chop and Bubba's barbecue was ranked number 14 out of Yelp's top 100 places to eat in America. In America. Not California. America. And I, I, think, I think it costs us about $75. For the three of us to eat, which is yeah, actually pretty good for a, for for a good barbecue place, and being able to walk out, you know, just full. Uh, they also serve sandwiches. Uh, they they serve uh, like different plates of food and uh, priced differently, but it, it is good grief. You had a chance to eat some good barbecue. There's definitely a place to go. Pork chops and bubba's. Mm -hmm. That being said. Logan, if they want to check out anything else from us, where would they go? You can find us over on Spotify, SoundCloud, and iHeartRadio at Robert Goose Scott, where you can find our two podcasts, All the Show and Wrestling Boys, about entertainment and pro wrestling, respectively. And if you want to contact us for those, you can find us over on Twitter at All the Show 3 and Wrestling Boys 2. And we also have a Twitter page for uh, Travel by yep. Nature, that is Travel by Nature, spelled the exact, exact same, same way. way. We also have an Instagram page for Travel by Nature, that is Travel by Nature underscore IG. And if they ever want to do anything uh, for the channel, what would they do for us? You can. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and share to your friends. Share to your friends, because we're coming up on one year mm -hmm. of Travel by Nature. Yep, coming up on the 29th. 29th. We're putting out, we're putting out new, new content, more content. There's some places we need to go back to, because some, yep. some, there were some changes and some things going on. Uh, but we've been having a good time bringing all these videos for you. And uh, we got a lot of exciting things coming up on year two. Yep. And uh, that being said, I'm Goose. I am Lope. This is Travel by Nature. Thank you for watching.